Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Darcizal Offshore YouTube channel. This is Brian doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be solo fishing here in Southeast Florida, doing some freshwater fishing for bass, peacocks, clown knives, snakeheads, all kinds of great stuff we have available down here in this fishery. And a lot of different parts today, Darcy's not here. She's uh, doing working on our merchandise for filling your holiday orders. So it's just me, and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna have a nice guys day out here. So uh, come along with me. I got, all, I got about six or seven rods rigged up, all different baits uh, for all different things I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I've actually got to fish on something. I'm gonna be starting off, it's nice and early in the morning here. I'm gonna be starting off with a, a popper or some top water. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna be moving on to some deeper holes and as the water warms up, hopefully some peacocks and some snakeheads. So uh, let's get right to it. Look at that, guys. <laughs> First, second cast. Got a looker. <laughs> well, he's all hooked up. I gotta fix him. All right, guys, you see that? I was just <laughs> trolling through this no wake zone trying to get to the regular spot. And I saw this, uh, where well, this water empties out, this culvert or pipe, whatever you want to see it, through the popper. And uh, caught a real lunker. So, <laughs> pretty good so far. All right, guys, I'm gonna get us some real fishing here. I'm not familiar with this lake with uh, top water, so I'm just gonna go along this rock ledge right here and see what happens for a little bit. And again, uh, doing a lot of prospecting here. So I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna be doing a lot of cast today to see what I'm doing. I'm using this foot thing, which I'm not too adept at. So we're gonna see what happens. Here we go. Woo! There we go. We got a little tangled up, gotta get him back in the water. Gotta watch these treble hooks. Gotta get my pliers, honestly. All right, guys. Woo, a lot of casts. It's been a lot of casts. Doing this pop rabbit, hitting structure and bridges. Made a thousand turns in this bridge. A thousand casts under this bridge. And uh, so I showed you that. Whew, he's bleeding a little bit. Just on the gills. Nice little fish. Hey, you know, not, not, not too bad here. And uh, so much fun to hook up like that. Got a little bit of wind today, so I was pushing the weed kind of the one side, and I'm kind of. Just trying to start to figure out the direction of the wind and the weed and everything. So got a nice clear path down here. I'm mean, just shooting across these, right down this edge and around these lily pads. Nice. Another little pickle. Another little pickle. Not bad. That's fun. That's fun. Not a monster. And I got him in the head, but whatever. <laughs> He's like New York, Long Island ah! bass. That's three, and I just got two right along this thing, so pick it up. Oh, that was a bite. That was a bite. <laughs> that was a bite. So I got a bite, I'm gonna put on a spot lock and try to hook up again. Now I scared him with that. Maybe I'm going to try something different. Usually you throw a worm in that hole, which is, is a traditional um, thing you do. I'm going to try my two fluke rig 
don't know you guys call this where you are, but uh, it's pretty sick. I got two, two barrel swivels here. And you throw these two flukes in like this, you can use this for anything, salt water, snook, trout, anything. So we're gonna try this two fluke rig. Now my boat's of course drifted into the zone, but whatever. I've been wanting to try this for years. All right, no luck for me on that, but that's the procedure. If you get a, if you get a bite on a top water bait, you throw a worm, you throw a worm where you missed it. All right, not not too bad. I mean, uh, you never know what's gonna happen on top water, but I got three bass, and uh, I gotta do a little battery change right now. And I saw some nice walls or or uh, sea walls, I guess you call them, which are great for salt water and also great for fresh water uh, for any any sort of fish, particularly peacocks and stuff. They love the structure. And of course, the bait is gonna be up against those walls. So uh, we're gonna try some nice sea walls. I saw never fished them before in my life, and uh, again, I live on this lake and. This is only the second time I fished it in about two years, and these are all new spots I'm fishing, so uh, we're just doing some great exploring and uh, having a ball. So uh, let's get to go to the next spot. So maybe as I told you, got you know got sunny and a little bright, which is uncommon or which you commonly don't use. Um, top waters and stuff. It's a little overcast today, so I used them a little bit longer, and I was having a little bit of fun, so I just kept on doing it. And then I came to do these docks I've been looking at for a long time, and I actually got a couple bites, but then I realized. Uh, I'm not good enough to, to fish left-handed yet, <laughs> so I wanted to go down the canal and uh, turn the boat around so I could fish right-handed. And then, I don't know, this is something you see in Florida, guys. If you see this in Florida, you, you want to stop your boat and start fishing. And that is just these pelicans, okay? <laughs> and so I saw the pelicans, started looking at my Loran step finder, started seeing a ton of shad in this deep hole, which I didn't even know was here before, okay? I lived, I lived in this lake 20 years. This is kind of back behind something, uh, so, Anyway, I never knew it was here. Marking a ton of fish like I can see and blah, blah, blah. So I've been fishing here with crankbaits and my double fluke rig and all kinds of stuff. Not getting any bites whatsoever. I mean, I imagine they're full of shad. So uh, I also unfortunately lost my lure, my paddle tail. I was trying to bunch it off the bottom because it's 10 or 11 feet deep back here, in here. And a freaking bird dove right on at the same time. So the pelicans, you know, if you're unfamiliar, when these pelicans dive in the shad, just like they do out in the ocean. Uh, on bait. So I lost my lure. I, you know, I'm very, we're very good at getting the lures off the birds, but when it breaks off and they take off with it, then I, you know, I can't do anything about that. So I was a little disappointed or upset about that for the bird. And so now I'm just re-rigging that, and then I'm going to hit these docks again, because I've literally spent maybe an hour trying to catch a fish uh, with everything I had, and just wasn't able to do it. So I wasn't able to catch anything. But again, they're, you know, they're keen on these shad, so it's tough. But I lost that lure. I'm going to put this on I couldn't find the paddle tail that I used. But I'm going to put this on to try and catch a peacock or something under these docks. And also, let me sh I'll show you these. So I also have these, which I'm not sure which is better, but I got two bites. More airplanes. I got two bites on that little paddle tail situation. So I'm going to stick with that. around the freaking trolling motor, I got a bite. <laughs> Jesus. So I totally failed on those docks. So uh, it's the heat of the day right now, it's one o'clock. It's high time to do uh, your uh, snakehead vision. So I got a frog on. And uh, I'm gonna try and catch a snake. Just had a bite, I don't know what it was. A little bit much in the middle for a snake, but the control mode was all fouled up and hitting the bottom here, so. Totally failed on the snake heads. <laughs> you know what we say on YouTube, if you catch three fish, it's a video. So uh, we did that. But you know, I, I never come out here myself and this is really the second time I've been on this lake in two years. Never really fished it seriously ever before that even. So, you know, if you out fishing and you find a couple new spots, even one new spot to fish, every time you go, you know, you go 10 times, you're gonna have 10 spots. And then uh, you just rotate those spots and pick one, find one new one. And that's how you get consistent fishing. So um, 
Fish in a deep hole right now. <laughs> totally cooked it, but um, deep hole, right? we've caught a ton of fish before, so one of our top 10 spots here. And, and maybe, you know, I'm just using Lewis today. You know, down here in Florida, we use shiners a lot on these invasives because we're kooks. So almost, I don't know, when the last time I did my lure fishing, so it's a whole new ball game, you know. But uh, I'm still chipping away at it's about three o'clock. There we go. And um, we'll see what happens here. There's this sunshine bass in this spot, peacocks, large mouse. And I think they catch clown nice right here, here right now. So we'll see what happens, but otherwise, another great day in the water. We learned a lot of stuff and uh, found some new fishing spots. So no complaints. Until next time, guys, follow your dreams, keep on catching.